In the previous session, we have seen this identity. Friends, in this session, we will see some examples based on this identity. Can you tell me how to solve this? This can be easily solved using this identity. Let's compare these expressions with the left-hand side of this identity. We can see that x is 2x, a is 3 and b is 5. Substituting these values in this identity, we will get this. After further simplification, we will get this as our final answer. This was easy, right? Let us see if you can solve the next example or not. Can you tell me what will be the product of this? Again, we can apply this identity. Your x can be taken as LMN, A is minus 3 and B is minus 2. Let's substitute them in the identity. After further simplification, we get this as our final answer. Can you find the answer to this last example? In this example, how can we use this identity? In order to do this, we have to split these two numbers like this. You can notice that even after splitting both the numbers, the product remains equal. Now, we can solve the right-hand side using this identity. Here, x is 200, a is 4 and b is 5. Substituting these values in the identity, we will get this. On further simplification, we get this as the final answer. In this session, we have seen some examples based on this identity. In the next session, we will see some common mistakes that can occur while using this identity.